Hey, how you doing? It's Iowa Hunter coming out here from the Rock and Bee. It's May 19th, and I just want to start a little video. This will be just the first part of many segments, but I'll put them, maybe stitch them all together. But, uh, you know, we got some new property here, fairly new. We've been here about three years or whatever, new house, and we got a hillside that's uh, kind of steep. I don't want to mow it. And my nephew, uh, he went to college for, uh, you know, uh, wildflowers and all this other stuff and he actually works in that kind of field kind of so uh he has a uh <clears throat> flower company over in delmar iowa and uh he's been helping me try to figure out uh this great big wildflower uh garden we want to put on this hillside it'll help hold the hillside i won't have to mow it it'll have annuals perennials uh so uh, i'm gonna put his uh, link in uh, somewhere here in the video or at the end or in the comments or something it's called Delwood Flowers and he's on Facebook and he has all kinds of tips on just regular gardening and, and any kind of flowers or cut flowers or wildflowers or whatever but uh, he guided me toward getting this seed and what we did was we, we purchased this seed and we got uh, wildflower species and that's going to be like cone flowers and uh, all kinds of flowers that uh, just come up one year, but they're really pretty. Uh, then we got a wildflower mixed year, another bag of wildflower mixed year, uh, monarch butterfly, Midwest pollinator, uh, all kinds of different seeds. And the object is I get that uh, seed bed turned up, and I rototilled it. And then I let everything, make sure everything dies out. And then I want to, I want to rototill it again. And we've had the perfect rain, you know, if I would have put this in to begin with. But it's by the house and it's on a kind of a steep hill. So I didn't want to put it in and plan on Mother Nature. Because the second I do that, I'll get three inches of rain and all my seed will be gone. And it's kind of expensive seed. So I would rather just water it myself. Because you only have to water it until it gets a few inches tall and it'll take over on its own. Uh, they're pretty sturdy plants, so I'd rather water it on my own terms and depend on mother nature to wash my seed away So I'm waiting as soon as it dries out. I'm gonna till it one more time I'm gonna roll it flat then I'm gonna uh, Crank my seed out and roll it again and the best way to do it I guess is you take these seeds and you mix them all together You can do it in partial you know, you can walk one bucket two buckets until you get it mixed thoroughly with all your seeds together and then when you brought Put it in or broadcast it in you want to eat use equal parts of sand playground sand and seed and what helps you uh pull it down into the mixer and gets everything spread out real fine and i guess what you'll find is you'll get a bag of playground sand uh similar to this and it looks good and you open it up and it will actually be wet in there or damp and you won't know it and it doesn't work at all like that so you get some sand and you get it out and get it opened up kick it around a little bit for a couple days and let it get good and dry and then you can uh, mix it in equal parts to seed to sand after you mix all your seed together roll it out broadcast it roll it out again and then water it like in the morning and late evening until it gets growing Anyway, that's my first little segment here, and uh, I'll get going on it, and we'll, we'll do some more videos. Have a good day.